I realize I've actually never done a video explaining where I've been, why I left Hearthstone, why I now kind of came back, uh, and, and all my thoughts on the game and on content creation and this sort of shit. So if you're interested in knowing that, why I left, what's wrong with the game, and, and everything like that. You know, this is a video for you. So I'm basically gonna go over why I left Hearthstone, but I'm not just gonna state all of the bad things about the game, because there's a lot of good things about the game that made me stick around for so long, and then now made me return and come back. So I'm gonna switch between like the good things and the bad things about making content for Hearthstone that I've noticed, that made me quit, that made me come back, all this shit. Uh, and then like, what I've been doing in the meantime, and what other games I've been trying out, and why. So basically, I'm gonna start with a bad thing about Hearthstone that, uh, uh, made me quit multiple times while I was actually just a full-time content creator for it. So I've been making, in case you guys don't know, and you're more recent to the channel, I've been making content for Hearthstone for years and years. I don't know exactly when I started, but I think it was around when I was 18. So it's like seven years ago, but I made like guide videos at the start and explained how Hearthstone works because I really liked the game and I got pretty good at it. So I wanted to teach people and I did like podcasts. I did all sorts of stuff, PG review, I like coached people. But then of course, uh, the best way to make money in Hearthstone as a content creator is gameplay is getting really good at the game uh, and streaming the game for many hours and just posting gameplay because it's easy to post easy to make a lot of people want to watch it it gets like more views and guides almost which is kind of crazy and it's easy to pump out you can't pump out the quality guide every day gameplay you can and they make more money simply because the videos are longer and in case you guys don't know longer videos on youtube make more money than shorter videos. So anyway, if you wanna make full-time content for Hudson, you're just a gameplay creator who can throw in like guides and stuff like that. But the issue with that is that it gets really repetitive and really boring. Like I like playing the game, but I like making content a lot as well. And when the content you have to make for the more, most part is like playing the game day in, day out, posting gameplay, to me, that burned me out many times out of Hearthstone and made me consider quitting. And so I took many breaks, I kept returning. But the repetitiveness of what is playing Hearthstone is eventually what made me look for different games as well. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, I'm not saying you cannot make creative content for Hearthstone, because look at Raren. Raren is the best example of someone who was able to create cool ideas for Hearthstone and bring it to a massive audience and keep doing that. But yeah, it's hard to do it at the level that he does it consistently. Now, a good thing about Hearthstone is that it looks like the game will always have an audience. Audience. I've said like many times the game looks like it's dying. I've done many discussion videos about this and many other people on Twitter as well that Hearthstone is in decline, the viewership is going down, it's all gonna be like go to shit basically. The game is gonna be dead in a couple years but people have been saying this literally like eight years ago already that the game is gonna die. The game will never die. Like right now I have multiple Hearthstone streams open that have thousands and thousands of viewers live. Hearthstone always had a massive Twitch category, a lot of massive live viewers. And even on YouTube, if I take a look at like the latest gameplay videos of people and like other creators, so many views still, like so many people are still always interested in Hearthstone content. It blows my mind. I don't think the game is ever dying. So I think anyone can just stick with Hearthstone and probably do it full time for like, I don't know, many more years to come. So that's a good thing about the game. It's one of the few games that seems immortal, even though it is declining like very slowly and it does go downhill. The pie is just so big. Everyone can still get a slice from it, if that makes sense. So now into another bad thing. Uh, there always seems to be some drama. There were so many videos I had to make about like them cutting esports costs or just canceling esports or like higher ups firing people or like drama within Blizzard. I mean, everyone knows the big drama that happened many years ago. It always go through some shit. Um, I remember the monetization decisions that they made, how much money they charge for stuff, and like the, a lot of things are always questionable. And we're always thinking this is the end of it. Do you remember rune stones when they were introduced? Mercenaries. I saw some shit about twist, like a new format that is completely being butchered. It, there's always some shit happening. It's like every couple months, it's like oh, fuck another, another fucking bad decision, or they're ruining the game. But this keeps on happening. It feels really bad. I hate. I, I hate it, but the game stays alive, of course. The game will always survive like some sort of co cockroach. <laughs> like there can be a fucking nuke dropped on it and it's still gonna have a player base. But it still feels bad to receive that kind of news on the regular. So I that was just a mood swing that I, I kind of wanted to get rid of. A good thing about Hearthstone is that the game is actually fun. Uh, surprise, surprise, but people play the game because they enjoy it for the most part or because they're hooked, uh, it could be dead. But I enjoy playing the game. Like when I returned right now, I actually enjoyed playing Hearthstone. 
even though for a long time I didn't. So a good thing is that the game uh, is fun. I don't know, I just wrote down game can actually be fun as a good point. <laughs> Do it as in for whatever the fuck you want. A bad thing is that there is also drama within the community a lot. Whenever I scroll on Twitter, it's usually, like I still follow a lot of Hearthstone people, it's always like people complaining about the state of Standard or of Wild or of like some broken thing in Battlegrounds. There's always something happening uh, and I feel like most communities have this, but with Hearthstone I notice it especially where there is always something wrong um, within the game or the community. Also the comments, like I've made content now for multiple different games, uh, the comment section for Hearthstone is usually the worst. People are always complaining about something broken or like pointing out tiny misplays and then they, people have like this superiority complex where they have to be right and they know it better and uh, they have like a lot of people also think the game is rigged like I, f I feel like the majority at this point keep telling me that it is rigged in favor of you having to spend money even right now in these few videos I posted I had like a comment of a guy saying yeah you got fucked there because you didn't pay for the battle pass a good thing again it's one of the best card games and auto battlers out there and uh, there's a lot of auto battlers a lot of good ones but still Hearts and Battlegrounds will always be up there when it comes to the visuals and when it comes to just the, how it plays I've done a video Video trying many different auto battlers even right now I've been trying a few but none of them feel as clean as Hearthstone ever will again Hearthstone is from like a massive company they have the resources to make it and it's one of the is, is it the most popular card game online I'm not 100% sure it's one of them at least probably magic is gonna be up there as well but if you're looking to play a card game many people are gonna go to Hearthstone it's great for casuals many people play it on their phone so another reason why the game will always be big and will have a player base and now one final bad point that I'll discuss is that yeah like i said content for it is very dry and stale i always had like a need to make cool content that's how i started out this channel with guides and stuff like that and different many different formats but the best content will always be gameplay uh, for the most part if you're just streaming horse and battlegrounds right it's the most consistent easy to do especially if you're looking for revenue uh, so yeah i wanted to experiment more and i wanted to do more than just post gameplay every single day of a game that i didn't even enjoy playing that much anymore after a while so uh basically a combination of all of this is why i stayed why i left why i keep going back but eventually i decided to take a break from horse and try some other shit what i did meanwhile was working for some other horse and creators so for a few people i helped with titles thumbnails i did some editing for a while while. I also did some editing for people outside of Hearthstone for some Valorant creators so I've done just some freelance stuff for other people because I do think it gave me a good fundamental like basis to help other creators with their content. I also started a Valorant channel and this was probably the biggest breakthrough because I made a video like one of the first Valorant videos I made now has 600,000 views which is pretty good and not too much later right now I have a video that has 1.5 or 1.6 almost million views for Valorant, a game that I'm not that good at and I'm not an established creator in, but it just showed me that there's so much potential and good content in different niches outside of Hearthstone. If I can just upload a couple Valorant videos and on average they do hundreds of thousands of views, I'm like, why the fuck am I posting gameplay and playing Battlegrounds, right? But of course, it's not going to be that easy. Um, I tried more big projects on Valorant, some of them flopped, and then I'm just questioning, is it even worth the time, where's the consistency? But just hitting that massive number on those few videos makes me think that there is more in this than just the Hearthstone gameplay. Also, many of you probably know, but I started playing Backpack Battles. This is a small indie game that got released, I got in it early, uh, and I'm posting mainly gameplay for it, but this kind of gameplay feels different than posting gameplay for Hearthstone, which I'll explain in a little bit. But Backpack Battles has actually been one of the more fun auto battles I've ever played. I actually enjoy it more than Hearthstone and it has a really cool community as well. So let me quickly talk to you about Backpack Battles, even though you're watching this on a Hearthstone channel and you might not care. It's important to know the difference between the two games so you can understand why I moved to it and why I think in the future it will actually maybe do better than Hearthstone. Bold assumption, very hot take, I don't care. First of all, the game feels really great. I I think it has more creative expression because I can play the game for hours and hours and keep coming up with new different builds almost on the daily. Every day I play I have something new that I'm playing and that is because of the way that it works. In Hearthstone you have like uh, key pieces that you need to hit. You need to hit certain minions to scale a composition around. There's like set builds that you can play and tier lists and all that sort of stuff, right? In backpack battles, you can mash almost anything together in a backpack and make it work. So there's a million cool interactions that you can still explore 
possibilities and they're adding more and more so at the start of backpack this was not the case there were like a couple builds that you kept forcing but the devs have been adding so much shit over time and so many cool mechanics as well where throughout the game you can choose like different paths to go towards and then it can nudge you in a direction and there's again there's so many interactions i still want to try and i've played the game for hundreds and hundreds of hours that i think there's just way more creative expression and cool stuff you can come up with than with hearthstone in hearthstone it's all like centered around a, a few pieces and a few ways that you can play the game and because of that i also think there's higher skill expression like i don't want to say the game is harder to play than hearthstone battlegrounds because that's a i don't know exactly if that's going to be true but it feels like there is way more to think about in that game you have infinite time during turns as well so you can literally go into the tiny minuscule details of why a play would be better than another play economy is a really important aspect like you have many ways to gain more gold or to save gold going into next rounds the way that sale items work also nudge you into different directions so you can work with sales in the shop to buy maybe shit you normally wouldn't again this is going to be giving you more creative builds that normally you wouldn't be able to get but because you got a sale item you can i just love the mechanics in the game and i think there's so much to think about and so much cool shit you can do that i have been preferring it way over uh, hearthstone and lastly it's very chill again you have no turn timer the rank system is a bit wonky, I hope they rework it, but there is no like try hard feel. You can try hard if you want, but it just feels way more laid back, way more relaxed. I never raged as much in backpack as I did in Hearthstone. Even though there is RNG, there is randomness, there is like percentage based stuff. I cannot get mad at backpack like I do with Hearthstone. And every time I look at Hearthstone streamers, uh, I you know 50% chance that they're raging and that they're tilted, 50% chance that they're actually enjoying the game. <laughs> That's what it feels like. For backpack it's completely different also the community is really nice comments are always very wholesome and positive compared to hearthstone where a lot of it is complaining it just seems like people are generally happier again i don't want to put hearthstone in that battle of a light you guys are hearthstone players as well i'm not saying everyone is like this i mean as a general observation that's what it looks like okay i'm not don't take any of this personally the devs also care a lot same at hearthstone but it feels like again the higher ups in hearthstone make decisions that uh, kind of ruin the game while this is more of an indie game so it's just managed by literally two people they're very active in discord they're open for communication i've talked to them they're, they're pretty chill and they want to push out as much content as possible they like their game and they want the best for it and you can tell there's a lot of updates currently happening it's still i think in pre-early access still a release should be happening by the end of this year and they still have a lot of really cool things planned so i keep staying hopeful for it one downside though is that the game has been dying so i was able to do it full time for a bit but the game was on a rapid decline uh, even though it came out of beta it was spiked for a little bit but it was only a couple weeks and it was back to being down so right now it's a bit tough to make content for it full time but because they have so many big things planned for example real-time matchmaking doesn't exist now they're gonna add that which means we can start hosting tournaments and start doing cool shit like that they're also gonna have mobile they don't have a mobile version version yet but once they have that i think the game will do really well so i think at full release it's gonna spike again and i hope it stays a little higher than it does right now but if not the game is kind of dying i might have to look for something new again uh, that's just the way it goes i guess if you like bank on like a small game to blow up and it doesn't you're in this weird spot and meanwhile i've also been trying like more valorant content some deadlock as well i don't know if you guys have heard of deadlock it's a new game from valve i enjoy it a lot uh there's again some cool creative stuff you can do like making builds but overall it's just a shooter i've just been experimenting this time that i've been away from hearthstone basically that's why i returned to hearthstone for a bit now with a few gameplay videos the nostalgia it's just fun to pick it up again i i felt like i was going back in time it's also fun learning new things i love exploring new things and figuring out like all the new cards and the new builds and stuff but once i learned most of the new builds and the trinkets and everything and the interactions i already started getting bored of it because i started having games that were just kind of repeats of games i already played and i started seeing the meta already of what people play in the end game and what to play around and what to buy like things already started becoming repetitive even after just playing the game for a couple days it feels very try hardy and less variation than backpack maybe i'm a bit spoiled and also when it comes to content like my gameplay i got a lot of wholesome comments i appreciate everyone who said they're happy to see me back uh but it seems like right now especially there's so many like you can put it's fish in the sea when i did horizon content i was one of the 
not that many people that upload a gameplay. Uh, I was one of the few doing guides, but right now there's many more people doing guides. There's so many more people uploading gameplay and getting good views. I feel like for me to make a return, it doesn't make a lot of sense. There's a lot of people that have been at it longer, that have a bigger community that people are gonna watch. I'm just uh, I'm, I'm just a guy that is kind of washed at this point. <laughs> but basically that should answer your question. I don't think I'll be posting more Hearthstone gameplay. Only if I play it more and I have fun and I feel like a video will do well. I'll post it, but there's no real reason for me to like put more effort and time into videos that don't do well, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's my current situation. I don't really know what's going on. I haven't been knowing what's going on for like a year. Hearthstone I kind of dipped out of and I'm, I can't really return to, I feel like. Uh, I could try more backpack, but I'm banking really on like the full release doing well. I could start editing more for other people. That's the safest option. I can do thumbnails and titles and editing for other people, which is what I've been doing as well. I've been trying some variety, like trying indie games, uh, Deadlock, Valorant, I don't know. Uh, I So I've just been kind of lost. <laughs> that is uh, the update. That is what I think of Hearthstone, why I returned, why I left, what I've been up to, why I've been playing backpack. Uh, there's probably some shit I missed, but uh, yeah. Just an update video, because I've never done one and I've left multiple times and done many things and I have to keep re-explaining what I do. So now I can just post this video. And that's it. Uh, yeah, I felt kind of weird making this video. There's a reason why I never did an update video, but hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Alright, take care, have a good day.